there's a plant that I I really like the name of it it just it sounds so wonderful and so good it's kind of unique and it's kind of neat but it's called a, a morning glory imagine that morning glory that's the way I feel when the light comes into my garden comes onto my patio comes streaming through the windows that are facing the sun in the morning it's almost as though God in his morning glory comes shining forth into my world and causes me to look and to see that God has caused another day to arise let the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in His wings. Jesus is called the Light of the World. And we're told that one day, when we're in New Jerusalem, that we would need no sun or moon, for the Son shall be our righteousness. He shall be our light. And that the city would be so transparent that the light would shine forth from Jesus Himself. That's amazing to me. I think of that as being the glorious one. But in the meantime, we have the morning glory that seems to shine forth. It seems to inspire me today to kind of look at where the light is shining. And everything seems to turn to the light. As soon as the sun rises, as soon as the light comes, everything seems to turn to the light. And wherever the light goes, all the plants seem to know and they turn themselves towards them. I've noticed that in my garden, whenever I want a plant to be healed, whenever I want to see if a plant is growing, I give it some water, you know, like water the word. But then once the light shines upon them, wow, the plant just seems to open up with blossoms and blooms. And your life is like that. Once God begins to shine upon you, once He begins to look at you, once He begins to put His morning glory on you, you begin to shine and reflect the light. Jesus is amazing to me. Every time that I read about Him and His love for His Father, when I look closer at the words that are spoken about Jesus and His Father, I always find some little nugget of truth that I never saw before. And today, I was amazed when I read this. I was shocked, because I'd read it before, but I never saw this one part. <coughs> then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. In the days of his flesh, when he had offered up prayers and supplications with strong crying and tears unto him that was able to save him from death, and he was heard in that he feared. Jesus feared? Wow! That's amazing. But you know, Hebrews 5, 7-9 tells us he was heard in that he feared. Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane offered up prayers with crying and tears. And it says he was crying out to the one who was able to save him, his father. But he was heard in that he feared. Jesus feared what was about to come upon him. And though he were a son, yet learned he obedience by the things which he suffered. And being made perfect, he became the author of eternal salvation unto all them that obey him. Wow! Jesus feared. I just, I don't know about you, but it just, wow, it makes me think about. He knows. He hears. He sees. He understands me more so than I ever thought before. If he was willing to be made perfect by going through that fearful time, that crying time, that pain and suffering that he went through, God, make me like Jesus. We have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, 
but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. There is no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that you be able to bear it. My grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. O oh God, my God, in the morning glory as your light is shining upon me, I can only hope and pray that, dear God, your grace is sufficient for me today, that I might walk and talk and see the light of your countenance shining upon all that I do and all that I am today. And God, I pray that you would walk with me this day and that we would be together, you and I, experiencing the grace you have for me because of what your son, because of Jesus and what he has done.